Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe Key Johnson. For today, people, I want to talk about one of my biggest problems that I have in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. But before we get into that topic, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background. I managed to go 46 kills and 9 deaths with a KD ratio of 5.11, which is not that bad, to be honest. And I managed to do this with a assault rifle called the Vapor, which is one of the assault rifles I don't even use the most. I actually use the ICR the most, and uh, for some odd reason, I did good with this one. So... Um, in the future, if I do manage to do more better with this assault rifle, I'll be doing some best class setups. For now, you know, I need more testing with this with this weapon, and uh, hopefully, I do unlock all the attachments. So expect to see more of this weapon in the future. So, anyways, now moving on to the main topic, which is my biggest problem in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 right now. It has to be the spawn system. It is so bad. I've never seen this this bad since like Modern Warfare 3. Because I know in Modern Warfare 3 you can easy, easily spawn trap in that game. So it has been years since the spawn has been this bad because they're at points. At different points in the match, so for some odd reason, you'll spawn in the middle of the map or in front of the enemies for some odd reason. It's just super weird. I've never seen this something this bad before. Like for example, in Black Ops One, which had it the worst in demolition. By the way, there was a, a time where I actually did jump into a random lobby, and it was like mid match, and I was dying in the spawn because I kept on spawning the same spot because the enemy apparently knew where the spawns were, and they just stood there in front of it, and they just kept on killing me. And it was just super annoying. And I was like, this has to be one of the worst systems, the spawn systems in the whole series. So uh, it was Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and then I didn't experience it for the next few years that bad. And then it's now again in Black Ops 4. So I don't know where they went wrong with this, but the spawn system is whack. It has to be like maybe like a 1 out of 10 system. I don't know where they come up with this, but this is why they need to like open up the spawn sites. Well, you start at A and B. I mean, A and C, by the way. Those two sides need to be widened up a lot more because if you just started in a narrow passage, you're going to keep on spawning in that little same spot, which is a big problem that this game brings. Most of the maps are pretty small, which means that you're going to keep on spawning in the same side over and over again, which, which allows the enemy to spawn trap you as bad. So, uh, I don't know... When are they going to fix this? But I highly doubt, though, because they never fixed Modern Warfare 3. They never fixed Black Ops 1. They never fixed Modern Warfare 2. So what makes you guys think that the spawn system is going to get fixed anytime soon? But I do want to bring up this problem because it's becoming worse along the days. So, I mean, I, I really love this game. I really do. I like this game. It's been years since I actually do good constantly in every single match it's been so many years but this is one of the biggest things that i notice about this game the the spawn system is so bad and i'm pretty sure some of you guys also have stories about this situation because i'm not the only one i've been hearing people through their mics you know fuck this spawn system you know all this shit sucks and i've seen some of the youtubers talk about it too and they also agree that the spawn system has been one of the worst over the years i'm not sure where they went wrong with this i mean it's treyarch usually the spawn systems aren't this bad not even in black ops 2 was this bad if the enemy pushes a lot into one side you will automatically spawn at the opposite flag so that mostly happened in Black Ops 2 and in Black Ops 3 also, which the spawn system wasn't that big of a deal. So now you come back into Black Ops 4 and now it's a big problem. Where did they go wrong? Where did you go wrong, Bonderhar? So um, yeah, that's my biggest problem right now, guys. So um, I'm pretty sure, like I said, you guys also have stories. Tell me your stories in the comment section right now. Tell me where you have experience in this game and we'll... You know compare stories and let's see if we actually do have the same problem because i'm pretty sure i'm not crazy i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one because i've seen other youtubers talk about this so um that is it guys i wanted to talk about hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background like i said it was an amazing gameplay i managed to go 46 kills and nine deaths i managed to call in all my kill streaks the thrasher the mantis it was pretty much fun i'll keep on calling in this kill streaks because they're pretty much fun to use i missed the thrasher because it used to be in black ops 2 also i used to call that thing in like over and over again it was super fun too so uh, that's what made up most of my kills i'll admit i wasn't most of my gun skills so um yeah i'm not taking credit for most of the kills i'm just giving it i'm giving the credit to my kill streaks instead and some of my specialist moves too it's pretty much fun to use battery at times because he also has a cluster bomb which allows you to clear out a whole area which is pretty much fun so 
Um, so yeah guys in the future there's gonna be more emblem setups there's gonna be like more class setups and all that stuff this week it's gonna be all about strategy so you should be able to expect some more crazy videos along the way with badass gameplay in the background and let you guys know everything that you guys you know will make you successful in this game because I've been averaging at least 30 kills per gameplay which is not that bad especially for a 5v5 game because for a 6v6 for a 6v6 game like in Black Ops 3 I mean I wasn't achieving that many kills so this game achieved me allowing me to achieve 30 kills per game that's kind of insane it's almost as close as 40 kills per game that i used to have in modern warfare 3 and 50 or 45 kills per game in black ops 1 so i did achieve quite a good amount in this game so far that i'm just gonna keep on playing it to see if i can do more crazier stunts in this game so that is it guys make sure you leave a like in the video and also comment if you like you know subscribe for more it's gonna be like more stuff about this coming up